right, for all you Forex traders out there, all right, uh, if you've ever been curious to know what are some other exciting and fascinating markets to uh, pay attention to, then I got a real treat here for you in this video, okay? Uh, just wrapped up a live webinar, uh, did a Q&A session, and somebody brought this pair here, okay, to my attention. This is the AUD CAD, the Australian dollar versus the Canadian dollar. And I've never looked at this pair before. Um, you know, as you guys know, if you've been following my channel for a long time and you've seen the Forex recaps, then my personal favorites, um, you know, are more the GBP-based pairs. But this one here, man, all right, the AUD CAD, I fired this up today, uh, played around with the settings, and I legit couldn't believe how amazing this looks, right? I mean, just, just look at this price action, you know, from today, um, you know, look at how nicely this particular market trends, right? It's a quiet market, so it will typically move a little bit slower compared to other Forex pairs, but I mean, come on, man, just... <laughs> how amazing does this look right so I, I slapped on my dyno filters on top of this um, you know here's the typical candlestick five minute chart of the exact same instrument it looks terrible right and I think I think every market in the world looks terrible if you use candlesticks or you use indicators right but check out again what the AUD CAD looked like and by the way this is the most recent 24-hour session all right, um, check check out what this thing looked like with my Dino Bars filter on top of it. I mean, this was gorgeous. And and here's what I want to share with you. All right, here's the uh, focus of this this particular video. Okay, this is a pair where I don't think I would even need a secondary chart. Sure, I could do that. Like here's my T bar chart. I'll quickly label this here on the same instrument. Um, this is the T bars chart. All right, and here's the uh, bullish trend line, you know, nailing the the huge rally, but I don't think it's necessary. This is just my opinion. All right, I'm, I would love to know what you guys um, are doing with the Dino Bars and the T Bars filters. Um, if you're using one, if you're using the other, or if you're using both. Um, but but check this out. All right, so let me explain to you what I mean when I say I don't think you need two charts: the Dino Bar charts and the T Bar charts. Um, I think potentially this is a really, really excellent Forex market where you can just trade on potentially one chart. All right. So these three arrows here, all right, represent the signals. All right. There's nothing new there, especially if you guys that have been following the channel for a long time. Um, you know, these three signals here, it's just simply, you know, the first green after any red, that is your long signal, right? As a Forex trader. Um, I care about signals. Show me what a signal looks like. Show me where a trend might start, okay? And show me how to get in on this trend, okay? So you know what comes next? We draw the high like this, and we draw the low of that signal bar, and we wait for price to come back and give us a beautiful retracement, right? And it, ga it gave us several, several retracements, excuse me, before it eventually took off, all right? But check this out, all right? So because the AUD CAD is very low volatility, all right, it's a quiet market, there is no doubt on this. The fact that it's a quiet market makes it excellent for looking for low risk setups. What do I mean by that? Well, if you wait for like, you know, a 50% or a 60% retracement of these bars, okay, normally, all right. Normally, if you you know potentially take uh, entries on uh, the higher time frame chart, you know your stop is going to go one pip below the dino green, right? Your your stop would technically go one pip below this. And normally, all right, those stops are just too high, right? Those are like 20 to 30 pips um, of, of of a stop normally. But on this particular market, man, all right. If I take the 50% level, which is right here, okay? So this is the 50% retracement of the signal bar, right? Then the stop, okay, directly on this chart, the stop is only five pips, right? And five pips is 
Yeah, that's peanuts, okay? Five pips is nothing in the Forex markets. So check this out. If I implement this particular logic on all three of these signal bars, right? Here's the first signal. Um, here is the second signal, this red bar, right? I'm not going to count this green bar here because we obviously didn't get any retracement, but I am going to count this red bar here because we did get a retracement. That's why these are three signals and not four, okay? Because this one didn't retrace. But you get the idea, right? One, two, three, okay? Now check this out. I'm gonna do a little bit of video magic. And here are the results of today's potential signals on the AUD CAD using the method that I just described, all right? Where uh, you're not flipping between two different charts, a higher time frame and a lower time frame, right? The dyno bars and the T bars. Um, you're just looking at the dyno, which frankly speaking, I feel like a lot of you guys do that anyway, even though you're not supposed to, but this is the one pair, all right? This is the one pair that I found for really lazy people like me um, where you could potentially do it on the same chart. So check this out. This one right here, okay? It triggered 50%. Stop gets placed one, tick, one pip below, excuse me. Rips for 45 pip winner, right? Now this one here, right? This short trade. Let me put an arrow on top of it. This short signal bar right there, okay? Um... This, this was a signal. Here's the 50% retracement line, right? It definitely triggers. So we go short right over here, and we get stopped out because the market decided to keep going up. So this was a 5-pip loser. That happens, right? That's the nature of the game that we play as Forex traders. Now, check out the last signal, all right? The short signal right here. This is the red bar. If I draw my 50% zone, that would be right here, okay? Definitely triggers. Stop gets placed one tick above, excuse me, one pip above the red bar high, and this thing rips to the downside for 50 pips. For a cumulative total on the day of 90 pips, man, just just trust me, you know, 90 pips on what has uh, really a, a very slow forex pair. You know, this kind of reminds me of the Euro USD, uh, which you know moves like 40, 50 pips a day. I can't believe that this thing's moving 90, 100 pips a day. You know what I mean? So I wanted to share this video with you guys. Um, you know, take a look at the AUD CAD, fire it up, put the dyno filter on top of it. Um, get in touch with me if you want a demo on this pair. I'm happy to do that for you. Um, but, you know, listen, I'm always trying to find new and interesting Forex pairs. I think it's important as a Forex trader, you always got to stay diversified, right? A lot of guys out there like the Euro USD. A lot of guys like me like the GBP New Zealand, right? In fact, here, let me show you the GBP New Zealand from today. It was crazy. <laughs> short signal, long signal, short signal, GBP New Zealand. It, it was just unreal today. But not every market moves like the GBP New Zealand, right? There are many quiet markets in Forex that no one's really paying attention to. And today I realized that that's a huge mistake, man. You got to always be looking out for new and exciting Forex pairs to trade. All right. And as you can see here, man, this was crystal clean. I mean, it was a gorgeous day to be trading price action on the AUD CAD. All right. So what's the takeaway? Well, takeaway number one, you will never be able to forecast price trends using candlestick garbage, right? You can only exercise good trading decisions and good trading judgment when you're using price action charts. Takeaway number two, stay diversified, man. All right. I know you guys have your favorites, as do I. But, you know, again, every day, even me, someone who's been doing it for this amount of time, every day, even I learn something new. Okay, and this is what I learned today. The AUD CAD is a pretty nice trending market. Uh, again, go ahead and check it out on your own, guys. I think you're going to love it. Uh, feel free to get in touch with me if you'd like to see uh, a one on one demo on the AUD CAD. All right. Hey, listen, thanks for watching. Hope you found this informative. If you have any questions on the Dino Bars, get in touch. And as always, I'll see you on the next trade.